Hi everyone, it's Kristen, and today on Simply Sketching, we are going to sketch some watercolor leaves. Um, I know we did another watercolor if it has come out already, and I didn't mention the paper. Um, I am actually using watercolor paper, but you don't have to. If you have a thick paper at home, like a cardstock, uh, you could use that. The only thing that might happen is when you put a little too much wetness on it, it will tend to bubble just a little bit, but once it dries, that will either smooth back out or you'll be able to press it back out. I wouldn't use notebook paper. I wouldn't use printer paper or anything that is too thin, but since you're just sketching, any kind of thick paper will suffice. Um, I highly recommend sketching with watercolor if you have it. If you don't, we can use, you can use food colorings. Um, I'm going to be using mainly browns, yellows, and reds today. We're going to sketch some fall fall color leaves. Um, so yeah, I, I, I recommend it because it just gives you something, gives your hand something different to do. So today we're going to do leaves. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to wet my paper first because uh, we're going to actually do wet on dry watercolor. So I'm going to get my brush wet and I'm going to go into my brown and I'm going to load my, my brush up with brown. I feel like Bob Ross when I say that. Load your brush up. And I'm going to start my leaf shape and you can make any leaf shape you want. These leaves are going to be done in two parts. So one side and the other side, and I'll show you both parts. So I'm going to draw my leaf shape. I'm going to start with a long curved line and then I'm going to make my leaf shape on it. I will show you that. So that's going to be one side. And then I'm going to do the other side the same way. I'm going to load my brush up with brown. I'm gonna start somewhere near the top, but I'm gonna leave a space in between the side I've already done. And then I'm gonna bring it past a little bit. I'm gonna make the same shape up until the end. And then I'm gonna bring it down into the stem and it's gonna look like that. So that gap in between will stay white and we'll have our watercolor on both sides of it. So the watercolor, I love watercoloring because you can just mix so many different colors together. I'm going to, again, I'm going to start with brown. I like to keep my dark colors on the outside. That way you have a nice crisp edge. So I'm going to start with this brown again, and I'm, I'm really making my brush wet. I'm not tapping a lot of water off. So I'm making it real wet so it glides nice. And I'm just going to do a little brown layer on the side. Try to stay in your lines. Um, that way the outside, the outline of your leaf stays nice and crisp. I'm gonna show you, show you this really quick because once you start watercolors, you kind of gotta go. You don't want your colors to dry on you too much. So in that color, I'm gonna go in with a beautiful orangey red and I'm gonna color on the inside now. I'm gonna go into the brown a little bit. If you run out of paint on your brush, just go back in, get some more paint but you wanna do it somewhat quick. Oh, I can see that I, I kind of dripped a little bit, but again, that, that happens and that's perfectly fine. Gives it character. But you want these colors to be mixed in wet. That way they mix together and you have a beautiful dark outline, a beautiful bright inner part, and then do the other side. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go in with brown, I'm going to color the outline or paint, I should say, paint the outline of the next side of the leaf, being careful not to go outside of the, the lines, the lesson in coloring in the lines. And that's just my preference. You, you can do that if you want. If you want to color outside the lines and see what happens, then by all means do it. You know, experiment, have some fun with it, especially with watercolors. Watercolors are just fun. You know, there's a lot of forgiving in watercolors. There's happy accidents in watercolors. You know, you think this is gonna turn out one way and it turns out another way and it's even better. So I got my second side done and now I'm just gonna add a little finishing touch. I'm gonna clean my brush off and I'm gonna go into my bright yellow, get a load of yellow on there and then I'm just gonna do some dots. I'm gonna drop one or two dots in, maybe three on this side. 
Now my paint underneath is still wet. That means that the yellow I've dropped on is now starting to expand and kind of spider out and I'm gonna help it. So I'm gonna get my paint wet and then on top of each of those yellow dots, I'm gonna add a drop of water, just a little dot of water to both. I'm gonna tap off the excess water and I'm gonna just, just help it. Just spread it a little bit. It doesn't need to go all the way. You're just looking at it and saying, oh, that yellow would look good up top. And then it's gonna look something like that. Hopefully you can see that. It's just a little, little bit of highlight. You can go back in with maybe some green. Maybe your leaf hasn't changed all the way yet. Um, oh, just play around with it. Like I said, watercolors are just so much fun to play with. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have fun painting some leaves and I'll see you next time. Thank you.